What's going on, people? Brad, paintball room my life. See, so, let's talk about a TMC. So this officially just came out, the TMC. There have been some other videos online talking about this jam, but we're gonna do another one. The TMC. So this is not Tippmann's first mag-fed gun. Um, they have currently, well their first, their first mag-fed gun was like 20 something years ago, but we don't talk about that. So Tippmann's newest mag-fed gun is the TMC. They also have the Tippmann TCR and the TIPX. So let's go over like the basic features of the TMC. You probably already knew or probably can't see magazine fed. So these hold 20 round mags, but uh, we talked to Tippmann the other day and they said they're gonna start recommending 19. So they might actually change the manual and box and say that they're gonna be 19 rounds. Um, so put 19 in there, not 20. Quad rail. So you can put all kinds of like, I don't know, lasers and scopes and sights and whatever you want on there. Quad rail, rail on top, does have telescopic sight, or telescopic scope. Um, that push lever, bam, adjustable. There's different stopping points, so you could make it shorter or longer, or all the way in. Is hoseless, which is cool, and no one likes hose anymore. That's become like a thing. Yeah, that's kind of basic features. The TMC is based off of the Tippmann Kronos, a platform that's been very successful for Tippmann. Um, they're affordable. They start right now at $100 for their base version. Then they sell another one at $120. Um, if you don't know what they are, I don't have one to show you. But you are on the internet, so you can probably just like type in Tippmann Kronos and pictures and information will come up. Anyway, so it's based off the Kronos, so that's a good thing, right? So the Kronos is really based off of the 98, the most popular paintball gun by far ever. Um, and why is that good? Because Tipmans are durable, reliable, super simple, nothing ever goes wrong. They just work. You shoot paintballs and they just keep doing it forever. For the most part, it uses all of the same internals that come in the Tipmans, the Tipman 98 and Kronos will say. Um, the only difference being is that um, it can take paintballs two ways. So you can either take mag fed as we have it set up right now. So paintballs go in there. You can put hopper adapter on, which I'll show you real fast. Hold on. Hopper, right? So then it's just kind of like the normal chronos. It just, I don't know, looks a little bit cooler. Um, but most people aren't gonna use it like this. Most people are gonna use it mag fed. I mean, that's kind of the whole purpose of the gun. If you're buying this, um, for the most part, it's gonna be with this mag fed. Um, but one thing is to note that if you do have this hopper on there, um, you do have to have um, this dummy mag in there. You have to take out the real magazines. Um, and you have to use that. So that has the um, ball detent in there. You might be able to see that little orange doodad sticking up. I don't know if it's focusing, I can't tell, but either way, you have to have this in there. Um, so let's put it back to MagFed because, again, that's how most people are gonna use this, and it's not too hard. So um, that other one we like edited out, me putting it together, but um, you can see how, bam, that's really all. So now it's back to MagFed. Oh, magazine was loose. Um, so yeah, anyway, you can use this hopper or magazine, but it has to be one or the other. Unlike the like Die Dam or Spider MR6, you can't use a hopper and a magazine. You have to choose hopper or magazine. Uh, so being this is based off the Tipman Kronos, um, we find that one thing that's really cool about the Kronos is the like trigger frame area, right? So just like the Kronos, it has this rubberized grip um, and these finger grooves cut out. So it's super comfortable. Like it might be the most comfortable single trigger frame in paintball. Um, it's really nice. Like it's super comfy. Um, yeah, so we really like that. That's probably one of the, 
when people first pick up, that's one of the first things that they're going to be like, man, this thing's comfortable. Um, that and it's made well. So the Kronos is also made um, completely composite. So the whole thing is pretty much composite. Uh, the body, the stock. I mean, this, this things that aren't, but <laughs> pretty much, um, pretty much everything you can see on the Kronos um, is going to be composite. Where this isn't, so we still have um, stock is still plastic. Um, that like gas block or whatever the hell it's called. I don't really know anything about road guns, so we're going to go with this thing in the front is composite. Um, mags are composite. Um, sights are composite. Um, but for the most part, barrel and then the whole gun part, uh, everywhere it's black for the most part, yeah, um, is going to be aluminum. Um, the one part that isn't aluminum that I don't really like is the charging handle. So that's how you recock. Shoots. Um, so that whole thing that comes out right there, um, right there, everything you see that's moving right now is plastic. I don't really like that. I don't think that in the future it'll be a really an issue. I don't think it's going to break, but I don't know. It just seems like Tipman could have spent a little extra money uh, and made that part of aluminum, the same material that you know the body's made out of. With the other guns, like the other like like say magfed guns from whether it's Tiberius Arms, uh, Milsig, the Die Dam, you have the Rap 4 Modern Combat Solution magazines. Um, the TCR magazines, whatever they are, um, they're either the mags are either pretty expensive, like thirty dollars a piece, um, or they don't feel like they're made well. And these are super solid; like they're built very well. Um, and I don't know if there's a magazine out, honestly, that feels built as well as these things. Uh, and they're inexpensive, so this magazine right here they're really not sold separately so they're sold in the two pack um, for 25 bucks which is really good i mean that's cheaper than uh, the tipx mags it's cheaper than like everything so there's not another magazine other than the rap 4 helix mags uh, that are cheaper than these um, but the rap 4 mags are pretty terrible so um, while these are more than the rap 4 they're considerably better um, and they're like half the price of all the other like you know Tiberius and Mil Sig mags. Um, they're made well, they go in really easy. Yeah, so they're super solid. So if you worry about like, you know, releasing the mag and dropping them, they're not gonna break. I think it's kind of cool. Like those real AR people out there, or real guns, it does have the cool fire. Nope, it's on safe. Fire and safe selector switch. That's cool, it makes it more Tactical. So it's really light. Like it's weirdly light. Like I kind of expect this thing to be heavy, but I mean, not at all. It's definitely one of the lighter magazine fed guns out there. So for your littler guys, kids and stuff, it's pretty good. It's cool. So I feel like the major draw of mag fed guns is they take first strike paintballs. Uh, if you, again, haven't seen first strike paintballs, here on the internet. So look up first strike paintballs, come back to this, and then you'll know what first strike is. So the major draw is first strike, right? So like first strike shoots twice as far, it's, I don't know, more accurate. I don't wanna say like 25 times more accurate, like they like to say, but um, it's definitely more accurate. So if you have a, like the draw, yeah, is that mag fed guns can shoot first strike and a TMC can't. I feel that if you're serious about mag fed, you should look seriously into the Tiberius T15. Um, any of the Milstead guns, because they're kind of all the same, they're just variations on each other, the M17s at least, the Milstead M17s, uh, or the Die Dam, those three guns. So if you're serious about it, those all take first strike. Uh, the one drawback though, is that they're really at least three times expensive. The TMC is, if, Great for if you don't know if you like magazine fed and you kind of want to try it out. Um, say you primarily play tournament paintball or pump or something like that and you want to give mag fed a try. Um, it's great. I mean, I don't see that it will give any people any problems. I mean, it's made by Tipman. So, I mean, they're just known for, like I said, being super reliable, durable, and they just kind of work. So, um, I can't imagine this having any problems.
it's just going to shoot paintballs and you go have fun. Right? But it doesn't take first strike. So if you want first strike, don't get this. Look into the Tipman TCR, which I really like, or the first strike T15. Both of those are awesome. Um, and they're more money, but priced similarly. Like they're fairly close in price. Yeah. TMC. No first strike, but it's pretty cool. TMC review has concluded. If you will, it's helpful. You can like, comment, subscribe to this video channel. Check us out at paintballroommylife.com or on all those other social things if you want to see those. There's probably a link somewhere down in that description somewhere. Thanks.